All right, guys, let's look at the price of Bitcoin, what is happening and what to expect in the nearest future and long term. First of all, let's look at this chart uh, and cover the topic of today's video, uh, which is titled Bitcoin to $250,000. So here you see, I actually already showed that before, but I think that I need to put some more clarification about that. So um, you see here the monthly time frame of Bitcoin uh, Brave New Coin Liquid Index. And basically we see all those uh, rises and drops uh, of price of Bitcoin, the major cycles. So we have these spikes uh, at um, higher and higher uh, prices, price levels. And basically important point here is that we uh, could kind of have the uh, logarithmic chart regression behavior uh, going up. But the interesting correlation here between the highs and lows, and that's uh, what I was going to share. You see this high, uh, and this low. So if we make a Fibonacci, Fibonacci levels uh, based on these pairs of high and lows, what we'll have is that we'll have the levels in between the 0 and 100%, but for the higher levels, we'll have another levels. And basically the extension levels of Fibonacci is uh, these three, which I depicted here. And it is interesting that every new all-time high, or at least for a certain particular um, group, a pair of highs and lows preceded this high, is laying at 238.2% Fibonacci extension level. And let's say this pair, if you'll uh, draw the Fibonacci extension lines here, uh, you will get the same 238.2 for this uh, new high uh, in 2017. So currently, we are in the new cycle and well, we actually just hit 161. And it's interesting that in principle, you can find those additional levels um, having pretty much also corrections noticeable for the general price action. For example, here, 131.4, we had the correction here. 161, we had the correction. Well, of course, 100 and so on. Uh, before 100, there are other levels. Uh, here, 161, we had the massive correction here. 141.4 uh, here, those, there was also a small correction if you'll find the uh, lower time frames. But generally, again, here, 141 and 4, there was a correction. 161, there is a correction right now. So you see, this is a very strong and very interesting correlation of this price action behavior. And generally, what you might speculate on is that the next all time high could be at uh, the same 238.2 Fibonacci retracement, or, or at least around it. And currently it is at $256,000. So you would expect that uh, we'll have a correction right now, we'll go higher, maybe another more, more correction, and so on and so forth, until we reach this new all-time high. If you'll draw the long-term regression curve of Bitcoin price action, then you will see that uh, we have would have to lay inside this channel, logarithmic channel, which technically should go something like like this maybe and then um, the price would have to like having additional correction and time maybe uh, we'll reach that point in 2023 or something like that it's hard to believe in that slow uh, motion because it was so fast recently but it is what it is um, again don't think that this is something which is um, like a hundred percent necessity uh, there is only a probability and this um, uh, correlation works only until the point when it stops working. So maybe this this is just a coincidence. In any case, it's a very interesting coincidence and it gives us some hopium uh, in terms of what uh, will happen in the price with the price later on. Okay, so now let's look at what happened recently. So basically we already pointed out that we had this distribution, right? Uh, and just before that, I showed you this bullish case with 250k uh, for the new all-time high, but uh, this is the bearish scenario, kind of bearish scenario, maybe it's already over. Uh, this is the distribution, and in fact, it pretty much um, similar to the Wyckoff distribution scheme uh, number one. I showed that in February, uh, because 
it, it starts to evolve the similar way and uh, the price at, at the time was something like 50,000 or maybe lower than that. Currently, we uh, followed this scheme uh, pretty nicely, except maybe this part because the price actually tested this trading range um, of this distribution before dropping, but this is the uh, way um, it, it, it works. Sometimes history doesn't repeat itself, but just rhymes. And now still we are in a phase E, uh, which is the total capitulation. And the question is, how low will it go? Well, generally for the Wyckoff cycle, uh, we have the accumulation phase and distribution phase, right? And the price might go as low as to uh, the uh, previous uh, accumulation. So something, something like here unless the uh, asset is some, ha having something uh, really fundamentally wrong with its value. So where is our um, previous accumulation? Where it is? Well, if you remember, I already pointed out that we generally had it somewhere in the range of uh, $10,000. So maybe a little below than 10,000 and maybe up to 15,000. So technically price could go something like that. Uh, usually if the asset is um, having the like high demand and with Bitcoin we have the uh, low inflation, very low inflation comparing to the other assets existing out there uh, and there's a, there's a lot of hype and a lot of demand here right now so we may expect that it doesn't go that low but go a little higher so maybe 25,000 maybe it's already over and I'll show you the points for why it might be already over um, actually, we had this descending channel over here, and this descending channel was broken recently to the upside. Uh, we had this fake out before to uh, level below $30,000, and then we had actually the divergence on a four hour time frame, like this one. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so we have the lower lows and higher lows, lower lows on the price, lower uh, higher lows on the indicator. Uh, that mean that the price is likely to go up, but we actually broke this low again. Uh, it often happens with Bitcoin. Well, uh, this is how we make uh, the uh, most of the people sell their coins in panic, also collecting liquidity from the stops. Uh, generally, though, we have even a stronger divergence. It's, it's hard to detect here, but still we have the lower low here and we have a higher low on the indicator. So again, this is the bullish divergence. And after that, we what happened is that we broke this descending channel. And moreover, after we did it, after this breakout, we, we, did the, we saw the test of this channel and this resistance line actually worked pretty well and the price went much higher and we uh, went above this high even today so this is pretty bullish so maybe maybe it's the more the more we stay here the more likely the current correction is over of course if we'll continue to test to go lower like going below this low test this uh, support line maybe breaking it down uh, breaking it downwards and like continuing going like this then it's very likely that the more often we uh, test the support the more likely it is broken uh, to the downside so it's really possible but as soon as we are staying I would say above thirty four thousand dollars then we may like continue going like this like this and eventually going to the new high higher than sixty thousand so it is actually relatively bullish situa situation more than it was before be uh, more than one than it was yesterday or two days ago so I would like to, uh, I, I was going to share that with you guys oh and by the way speaking about this uh, logarithmic behavior uh, and uh, two thousand two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars new high um, I actually saw some people uh, specialized in the um, uh, Elliott wave theory saying that we are currently uh, expecting the new uh, wave to the upside so we are in the uh, fourth wave right now and the new fifth wave will be much higher so we are kind of having this uh, one five Elliott wave rising uh, count so pretty much convincing and also confluent with what I told you 
uh, previously. However, one thing which I was going to show as well is that the relationship between the well, the correlation between the dollar index DXY and price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is red, DXY is green here, and you see that for uh, generally some lows of the uh, dollar index we have the high for the price of bitcoin here is the low here is the high here is the high here is the low um, again now we are pretty low for the dxy uh, and pretty high for bitcoin um, and actually this situation reminds a lot this situation so after the decline of the dollar index we had the a recovery we had the recovery and then it dropped down again then it started to drop so um, this is a little bit alarming so if this correlation continues this is much more bearish scenario in all the long-term correlations which I showed before uh, will be broken and actually we will probably go below previous uh, 20,000 um, so which is not so great long term maybe we'll have a bear market for years who knows but in any case this is uh, the thing which shall we consider like we have this mosaic picture uh, in our head uh, and we're adding some more and more pieces to make this picture correct um, so far so good uh, that is pretty much it for today I hope that it was useful and I will keep you updated on what is happening and uh, as usual Twitter and Telegram is more often thank you very much for watching and safe trading guys goodbye